And Ember Spirit is certainly one of these heroes that uh, can do a lot of damage early once you get a couple of levels up and running. So you can gank his lane or you can rotate the Ember Spirit out. You, you have a lot more options and you have a lot more kill threats in general. Maybe not against heroes like Lifestealer, but certainly Enchantress even. Or I will see what Babe wants to pick up next. It, it's really difficult for them to pick here because they don't know where the Ember's laning. Yeah. And so they have to be like, okay, well, do we want to just pick our mid hero here, like a Void Spirit or something, but it's just always going to do okay? How do we want to approach the rest of our draft here? Trying to think of fours they could pick as well that might just be okay. Radiant so they want to just go back for the Earth Spirit. Oh, Earth Spirit got banned, didn't service. it? Oh, there's a kind of flex pick. Okay. Yeah, that works. Wind Ranger gives them good lockdown for the Ember as well, which is nice. I completely forgot about this hero, to be honest. <laughs> which yeah, is it's funny. Already, it's already had a sick Arcana just released. Like, no one's well, it's probably because no it gets playing. banned in every single pub. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. Both teams just pick it first every time and it gets banned. Five seconds. Actually, it's, it's wonderful to watch people get sorry about that. Yeah. Gonna message Love a friend it. of mine who's a bit of a Windrunner fan. Gonna message him to tune in. <laughs> uh, Dire yeah, team. Just keep going. Oh, oh, no, he's oh, nice. Oh, nice. This is what I talked about in the last round. I think the Shadow Demon pick is really good. Dire it sets up well for the back. arrow, but it also makes um, life to this game really hard. Because you throw the purge on him and he doesn't have any mobility to get around the fights. This pick is really good, though. The Beastmaster is now in a situation where the Shadow Demon can't deal with the Beastmaster in lane. Because you can't deal Ten with the boar. Remaining. But this Beastmaster Wind Ranger lane does so much damage between the two of them. I really Five hope Wind Ranger gets a Blightstone remaining. to amplify the physical damage of the two heroes and the boar. And now they're probably looking at this being like, I think we have to put Ember mid, guys. Like, because if Ember Shadow Demon goes to lane together, it's gonna suck. They can get bullied so hard. Is <laughs> they, they Shadow Demon can't keep them away. Ember's just gonna take the brunt of it. And uh, yeah, no, you, you can't have and that. Dire right team and now they get to bat out two heroes on bait that they don't want to have to lane against with the Wind Ranger Beastmaster. So you see, they instantly take out the Drow. I'm trying to think of another hero they might not want to deal with. Do you still ban out uh, PA? Um, Terrorblade, like these high armor remaining. or like very elusive heroes. I think Terrorblade's a bit annoying. Five seconds yeah. remaining. Especially because you see the Zeus ban as well. I think you have to be a little bit worried. Yeah. I mean, it would have to be on their minds, right? <laughs> they picked that themselves with the Miranda Slider but, earlier, so. They certainly but the other thing it. is, for, the other thing is for bait, they need magic damage. Radiant team ban. Like, to carry them through the mid game here. Yeah. It's actually going to ban the Dire PL. team pick. Yeah. I think they're going to pick TB on Empire. But then you could just pick Puck again if they really want to. Or he's actually going to go Viper. Uh, it's okay. They are very reliant on this Beastmaster having a good time, though, which I think he should. But I think if Beastmaster doesn't have a good time, they have nobody to control the remaining. tempo that like moves around the map. Viper's very static, like, I'm going to do this, and now I'm going to go and do this. Yeah. But it's all it's just so very slow, clunky. Like, yeah. It's freaking... Ever since they made that change, the agility doesn't give movement speed anymore. It's like... You almost have to buy boots and an extra wind lace to feel like you're not a, just a battle tank or whatever, just slowly chugging through the landscape, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, because I believe it's 320 with boots, with upgraded boots. Yeah, that's the time. Choose your hero. Yeah, is, so. I think the bands gave it away more than anything, honestly. <laughs> and this is going to be really difficult for him to deal with whenever he has um, like meta and things up in the lane. But after that, like in the laning stage, when he doesn't have meta, they should bully the absolute crap out of him. My worry is, as the game goes on, how do they kill a TB? Because they need to roar him, but then there's a Shadow Demon save with the disruption as well. It's yeah. so like, effectively, the whole roar duration should get wasted. And if they kite out the raw stun, this Terrorblade, if he gets like three items this game, I think he's going to absolutely own. Especially well, with still got this, uh, like, a lot of magic damage over time from the Crystal Maiden here from Fishman. True. Uh, so you, you have that going for you. <laughs> I hate God, that. I, mean, I like how it looks, but I don't like how it's an Enchanter set. Yeah. It looks like Crystal Maiden. It, it, sh it should be a CM set. 
gave that set to CM. You're right. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Especially from this angle, we don't even see the extra legs. You know. Yeah, that's true. It's... Yeah. I wonder how. I feel like Viper <laughs> should dumpster Ember in the lane, but I've seen this. <laughs> I've seen Embers win this lane before somehow. Yeah. I, I don't know how. They do really well in like the first few waves, and they punish the Viper for having to buy Regen. And then they kind of just run around and kill people with like a slight fist and chase. I'd be interested to see what build Sunlight goes for My as well. Whether he goes for like no points in Flame Guard or whether he maxes out Flame Guard. Because you either go yeah, one way or the other, right? Where yeah. if you max out Flame Guard, it's to help you sustain Let the magic damage in, in the lane from the Viper and help you push out waves and jungle and whatnot. Or you get points in Slight Chains, you just run around the map and try and kill people. Let's do your luck. Do you just mix out slightly. He said this Viper ha tends to have region issues. Constantly need to buy region on this hero to just be able to stay in lane yeah, because you wanna. The, the way you win is by just trading right clicks with poison attack, right? Exactly. But if you max out Flame Guard, you're reducing that damage that comes through. Exactly. So he has to buy more mana. He has to buy more mana rather than HP region. Yeah. Otherwise, he can't keep up the pressure onto the Ember in the lane. So like by the time the Ember gets to level five, if he has three points in Flame Guard, it's three hundred and sixty magic damage that the Viper has to get through to stop him pushing out the wave. Yeah. Oh, I feel like it could make a case for either, because if if he gets Slide Fist up to a high level, he can spam that and just uh, make Viper unable to trade because he's sitting on low health. You know. So. I've seen Shadow Demon's items, by the way. This is a an absolute chad. <laughs> All they Straight want is an arrow set up. Yeah. This is not your I want to spam a Shadow Poison forever starting build, that's for sure. He might actually not level Shadow Poison at all. I've seen Solo do this before on VP where he just goes 4 4 0 oh, on the Shadow Demon. Which, when he has no mana regen, is probably, you know, yeah, more likely to happen. I mean, you need some sort of mana region if you want to be spamming that, or else you're just constantly going back and forth, back to base and whatnot. Yeah, Maybe if you're just going to arrow set up, you don't necessarily need, yeah. need that. Especially if it's the three of them. They could very easily get the first blood or force out the rage first pick, uh, first skill here for Lifestealer. I was thinking maybe they could put the Slada in a 1v1 bot lane at some point and then like do an aggro try top with Shadow Demon Mirana TV. But then you're playing into an inch lane still and I feel like that hero just owns. <laughs> <laughs> Can Bait get a famous 2-0 victory? Oof. That's the question. Indeed, the question on everyone's minds. Right now. I mean, it's Dendi Viper, you know. I I still don't know what to feel about how to feel about that because Viper is such a uh, hero, you know. <laughs> don't know how else to put it, but it can be very effective in some circumstances. This ward down in bot lane by the wind ridge is going to see the TV, so they know that there's probably just going to be three heroes sat top here. They don't see the Shadow Demon on the ward at all. Yeah, Chrysalis is not gonna expose himself at all here. 30 seconds to battle. Then the question becomes, how long do they want to stick around as three here? How long do you hold out to maybe get a first bird door? Get some damage in there. Uh, I think you wait for the first wave. And then like, see if you can kill somebody. If you don't kill somebody, the Shadow Demon just TPs away. Windrun, already begins. skilled here from Wind Ranger. Interesting. That's really interesting, actually. Why do they want the Windrun? Also, I the mean, Shadow Demon might be able to catch the life shield while he tries to block the wave. Doesn't look like he wants to no. go for it. No. The dip block I feel like he could have taken him by surprise. Hmm. Also still hanging around, still... Uh, already skilled Thief, so he's not going to have Rage available. If yeah, you find a good angle, this could be something, yeah. They want to kill the TV when he pops Meta as well. Yeah, Windrun level 1, not the worst thing in the world, if you have uh, support to trade with or something, you know. But 
Dude, like Phoebe this. started really well in yeah. the lane. He got the range creep as well, even though he's by himself. No. And the range creep deny. Yo. <laughs> Did both just teleport at the exact same time? <laughs> it's like, okay, happened. we give up. <laughs> it's like, nope, oh, exactly the one minute mark. That's where we all TP. Not earlier. One minute, no TP. Uh, rush, or whatever it's called. Surprise. 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 There was no lag after all. <laughs> so we're still taking around top, using that arrow to farm big creeps. Very nice. That's free big experience. Dyer's top tower so is under charge are both level two right now. So been taking quite a bit of damage in turn. Uh, yeah, I mean we've seen this dance before, haven't we? Yes. I feel like I've seen this draft before, to be honest. Yeah. But certainly this lane. This is the exact lane. Yeah. yeah. The chance I should just be able to click away. Who do you think? I haven't asked you. Who do you think you think won this game? By the way. I was hoping I could avoid that question because I'm very bad at that stuff. But uh. Which just Dota or predictions uh, on Dota? What's the... Yes. Yes. Both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes to both. Okay. Fair enough. Um. <laughs> I think Bates got it. I was on oh, Bates' okay. side all, all, all day, ostensibly, so. Look at this Met and Mirana just. Oh, sorry, CM and Mirana just clicking each other. This Mirana's waiting to see whether to level Starfall or Leap. I need Leap here if Dishman wanted to chase, but instead looking towards Shashma. That's just no mana there. region on the inch. Wow. It still has like what two, three impetuses. Oh no, the Kuga! Oh, no. oh thank you, they, they, they noticed. Phew. I was very scared for a second there. But you know, um. You're just looking at this Beastmaster, and uh, this is another one of these offlaners that tend to have a good enough time. And if not, you can always just open your jungle. So you're gonna get your levels, you're gonna get a good amount of supplemental physical damage. And this is sort of stuff that should make it relatively easy to. Just, just bash him. Okay. It was oh my god, solo sunlight takes out. Uh, yeah, those are the kind of trades that you tend to win as Viper. But now you're hey, low on health, low on mana, you have to region up. So thankfully, you had a salve in the family. He tried to man up with the flame guard on the ember. Okay, so this is the this is the problem I have with this matchup on the ember. If you don't do really well on the first few waves, and to, like, if you die before you get your bottle, it sucks. It sucks so much. But now, like, Could imagine you had the bottle this point and the, the four minute rune was coming up, right? So they're gonna try and remedy that now, but how do you land an arrow? No setup. Yeah, he has no point in chase. So, oh my god, he's getting really low again. Flame got up. And it just taken out from damage over time. <laughs> Salve gets cancelled as well. Yeah. Well then he kinda out of mana, so Sunlight has some rune. He's, yeah, he, he has this bottle coming, coming though. He's trying to hold the four minute invis rune until he gets his bottle. Oh, I missed that kill bot, but it looks like Windranger. Oh she's actually okay, she pops stick fairy. Not a little bit too early, perhaps. And both maybe Shackle to a creep. It was a second later. Oh yeah. Then he back up to full with a full bottle as well. Sunlight will be forced into the jungle. I guess that's where the uh, Flame Guard build really helps you out more than the Slide of Fist build would. Still just rotate out of the lane entirely. You just get a few jungle creeps here and there. Radiance Middle Tower. Mm. Gotta say though, Shachlo's not doing nearly as bad as last year did when he played Slava. No, true, but it's also the same time now he's going back. To, like he said, as he walks back to base. <laughs> well, he's still got 22 last hits. Yeah, he's up there with okay. Lifesteal, like. But they've managed to it so that the Ench doesn't get a big creep because the Mirana keeps arrowing the big creep. Oh, yeah. Which is like so key in this lane. It's so bad that like, he didn't take um, enchant on Ench till level 3. 
kind of force him to do early nature's attendance. Oh. oh, nice play by the. Did you see that? Ooh. Tried to arrow the inch to stop her TP, but the life dealer came in to block it. It's looking at mid. A second there, Sunlight barely able to TP out, but still on level 5, so there's no way to even get back to lane easily with Remnant down bottom, actually. Terrorblade, very, very low. Souls 5 up. <laughs> He's getting lasted in. And running away, there you go. I have no idea how this rotation works as well because they saw the Ench TP. Like the Marana must have called it, been like, guys, Ench is TPing away. So she's got to be going bot lane, right? There's no way she's going to be going mid. So, yeah, they're going to get the go shackle bot lane. So five up. Well, that's the wind run. I think they can just click him, can't they? Yeah. Last year is not. So oh, not quite enough damage. Jesus, that Last year we kept chasing there, would have tanked towers and would have died for sure. Unfortunate. Oh, has a uh, look at the level difference between the mid laners. It's crazy. Like because Ember hasn't had this good start, he now is in a really bad position. Uh, bot lane. There we go. Finally bringing down last hero. Very greedy, just hanging around with no health whatsoever. Scythe. <laughs> the courier. Down here. The courier ends up dropping though. Fishman gets a nice little bonus here as he's still trying to survive and at the very least take some more time off two of these supports. Tendency to yeah, one second. There you go. Level 5 on the Shadow. Okay. The illusion's taken over. Did not go to do that. Shadow was level 5 and a quarter, 7 minutes into the game. That's nuts. Uh, Viper kills Ember again mid. Yeah. I mean, this, this lady is. Yeah. <laughs> not Ember, Ember favored. Dyer's Let's just uh, under yeah. say that. Radiant's middle tower this is the way it should work, right? You've been talking about how Ember somehow wins this lane. But they really, I don't like, know. most cases they really should. Basically, Ember winning this lane is then getting anything other than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> which is what Ember's getting right now. I guess. Uh, the 8 minute rune is going to be really important here for both the mid laners, so uh, there's no supports coming over here, so it should just be a forced, let's say forced 50-50 again. Oh, it's a remnant. Oh, he's so <laughs> unlucky on the ember again. Yeah. It's spawned bot three times in a row. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. At some point it must spawn on the other side, right? Unfortunately, well, Viper does have an Invis rune. Do they have that? Oh, why? Doesn't get her off the edge of the center right here, anyway. <laughs> then he's like, goes to pull the creep camp to the medium camp to farm both at once. And he's like, guys, why are there four heroes mid? <laughs> I mean, at, at some they point, are. if you keep. Oh, God, like, this almost got Dyer's sniped by that power. Is under attack. They are going to get a deep ward down on the dice. Attack. I have to see these rotations now. But you see, this Shadow Demon is. Very scared. There's a Necro 1 on the Beastmaster, and they're just going to start yeah. running down lanes. Level 6, Necro 1. Dyer's got middle your tower is under Arctal attack. Summon as well. No helm, but you've got a Jandra that can kind of fill the same role. So you've uh, a lot of firepower right now that last year is looking to try and leverage right now. If not against heroes, certainly against this tier 1 tower. Dyer's very valuable tower to take out very early on. So. Radiant structures are fortified. It's not going to be easy though. But this is a problem I had with the two supports. Do you remember I was saying they need wave clear, right? And the Shadow Demon hasn't got any points in the Shadow Poison. And Rana's not going to go into Starfall, otherwise she dies. So now they can't clear this wave that's attacking their tier 1 tower mid. And it's just trying to straight up take a fight. Echo Shadow does not. Latch actually burst out last Ooh. zero. First inside the trees, another jump. Oh, the thing. crush on the Dendi! They're bursting down with the Cruel's face on the side. The purge to prevent the Windrun escape. Don't they yeah, did, did, did get the power, but they lose three yeah. heroes for it. Really nice defense by the Radiant. I didn't think they were going to bring everybody over. Dyer's oh, middle but tower. Maybe they didn't attack. think so either, but yeah, it's kind of bound to happen when you just stand there for a solid minute. I will say that this lifestyle is having a pretty free game right now. Oh, yeah, he hasn't been doing much, I okay. think. He's been completely in touch, but at the same time, like he has the same net worth as the TB. He's basically just been jungling the whole time. Nice regen room for the TB. Sweet. A soldier's fortune. All right. Uh, life stealer. Same build as we've seen earlier today with the armlet into the halberd. 
Don't make, they're making a rotation up there though, they have. Jet even ready with the disruption. They do have a set of Conqueror to tank the arrow. So that's that, but Fishman is still to die. Yes. I love the Shadow Demon build without the poison. It's so fun to watch. <laughs> And it's going to be really good with the TB later on in the game to use offensively. Like, you make the TB illusions and they just go to town. He's going to go for these really heavy stat items, like the Dragon Lance you see on the TB. And the illusions are going to be really strong. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And this is, my, this is my problem with the Dyer side, that now the Beastmaster's fallen off a little bit, it feels like. Gonna make a play on Dendi here, the arrow almost on time. You need to, to move a little bit too far for the angle, so Dendi. Will survive, takes a lot of damage from his own freaking illusions as well. Really good oh, for that one. Has skin. Yeah. Um, yeah, so now that the because the Beastmaster's not making the rotations, like bottom tower is under nobody attack. on the die is doing anything now, because he's the only one that can move across the map. Like this life and a Viper both need a little bit of time here. What's he bought on Viper? He's gone BOTs. Why? Try again, but they nicely shackle in too. No arrow. Easy. Follow up though as the arrow combination lands oh over onto the Dendi. Trying to go for the infest save, but it's not really enough. They do get the counter kill on the Shadow Demon, but it's it supposed to run away. Here's Sunlight trying to finish off Windrunner. Meanwhile, in the back, Lightless, he's just clicking. <laughs> Chris, I mean, they just walk the away. Still being chased by Shachlow here. Lightless, like, hey, gang, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just keep him in place. Here's no infest, Dyer's but. Tower is under attack. They used the raw Dyer's on the one hero that they didn't need to raw because he used all his spells already. Uh, oh my god, did you see that? Not really, but what? He just arrowed the <laughs> necro creep and died. But he meant Why? to hit it. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Why? I don't know. <laughs> did he just did he think he had enough health? Yeah, he must have done. Oh no. <laughs> it's a necro three creep. It was like, wait, I, I heard an arrow. It's like, wait, did you ever snipe someone? Yeah, you, you did. You 800 sniped, so. damage, 800 damage, Feedrop. 800. Look at Morana's uh, HP pool. She's probably like, oh, I'm half HP, I'll be fine. <laughs> 800 damage. It is level 3, yeah. That's nothing to scarf at. Oh, well, let's just ignore this and move on, I think. <laughs> pretend it never happened. Uh, pretend it never happened, you know, just <laughs> delete the tape. We'll fix it in edit, don't worry about it. Sunlight, baiting a little bit here, not the smoke. They're being a lot more active with this combination. This Radiant's classic combo, I mean, it <laughs> goes back, way, way back to Shadow Demon Marana. But the first ever combo I remember from Dota 2, like, Dota in general, was like less shanking in the offlane. Yeah. <laughs> But like recently, I feel like yeah, SD Morana is just one of those that. Yeah. I remember speaking of Leshrac. I remember also when I first started following competitive Dota, Leshrac and uh, Shadow Demon. That Radiant was a combo too. Yes. That was also very powerful. Shadow Demon Luna patch as well. That was fun. Oh. <laughs> Every, you oh, yeah. either pick Shadow Demon or Luna. Or if you get them, let them get both. You just lost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, small quotation here, they have some vision on Shotslow, this could be a good kill, but they don't have the range for the roar. <laughs> so it's last year right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it feels like Empire is connecting with more of these rotations and bait. They're Dyer's trying to make the same type of play, Radiant's bottom but they're not really connecting as much as well. They lose... <laughs> Fishman just to Sayu and uh, Sunlight. Dyer's top tower is under attack. At least they're keeping control of this part of the map, just keeping these lanes pushed in, but not really preventing Chrysalis from coming. Ah, no, on the um, on the Dyer here. Like what Dyer's how do they think they're gonna come back in this game now at this point? Because Viper just has casual BOT for some reason. Right? And then this life stealer can't fight by himself. And this roar feels so underwhelming because they just have the disruption save. Yeah. They need to like take a really good, like get a good pick off around Roche or something, I think. And then try and head into the Roche with the Beastmaster aura. The wind range is Dyer so poor. The Ench is so poor. It's not like the wind ranger. Does she have Javelin coming out? Okay, she, she, okay, she actually does damage now. Yeah. 
Radiant's bottom and I think it's a jump. I'm pretty attack. sure they have damage. They just can't be initiated on themselves. I hate that she took focus fire though before she had javelin. Unless she just <laughs> took it at level 8. Though. It's kind of poisonous. Ooh, that's a nice shakala. On the creep here. Oh no. Do they have to follow up all though? There's a remnant. Oh, what? Hello? I thought they were going to get punished really hard there. I thought you should have stayed to save the disruption for the raw. They did not have to take the little sentry that I think caught him. I'm not sure. But they're just, like, this TB's just farming. And they have to do something about him eventually. Meta still has half duration here, so they can kind of fight around it a little bit. Radiance Jolly here, we're gonna come half health with the spells from the Ekna. The arrow flies, and that's a kill for Lightless here. He's rushing for all two. Oh, the illusion killed the Necro Creep. That's so worth. <laughs> <laughs> Get the gold, don't even take the damage. And now they can just easily take Roche with the, the Corrosive Page on the Slada. Level 1 still, but it, it doesn't matter. Like, this TB is so farmed, he has so many items that they just have the damage to kill it so quickly anyway. We see you. Pushing a couple of heroes down, there's no way the bait can even fight them at all. Yeah. Because they don't have circle heroes, you know? They're not at all. Was that why they won last game, the circle heroes? Yeah. Are they going to give the ages to the Ember, by the way? Oh, he just took the bounty rune on the Asada in front of the Ember, who had a bottle. Never mind. Uh, yeah, this is a, that's a service boss. announcement. <laughs> if you have a shovel in your games, guys, and you dig up a bounty, don't pick it up straight away. Look to see if your mid laner needs their bottle refilling. Radiant are that is or if you're like me, you never pick up bounties anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want this new Fangle bounty rune. I don't know what this <laughs> is. I know the long-term health effects of this. I really don't understand these boots of travel on, don't they? On the Viper straight away. It feels so I mean, underwhelmed. It, it feels bad if you don't have boots of travel because we talked about it. It's super slow. But, so I can definitely see where he's coming from. But oh my yeah, god, say he's so a... mobile. Is he living? Oh my god. He just triple leaped and four staffed away. Yes, blink in one second. No, oh my god, up. don't tell me they're all living. Denny with the TP and. Oh, what? No! Didn't see him! Oh, the, they see the tower, tower shot now. It's too late. Guess wrong. Oh my god. It... Oh, I can't believe they. Oh no, Sayus run back oh, in with no. our charges. Triple save. Oh dear. Ah! Uh, oh, the four staff! No still way! Alive. Oh, the creeps! Oh, they're not running. They can't. Come on, arrow it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it, say you. Do it. Oh, it's a double. Oh, someone needs help. <laughs> uh, that's the Aegis down. Still burn. Uh, TB has meta oh, here, though. Shuttle, double stun. The mana comes oh, through. Fishman. Oh, God. It's very angry. Terror raid. Scary carriers. They say Shuttle very low, but he lives. Question mark. Arrow. Takes out. Sound. In the fountain, even. Uh, uh, here comes yeah. the TB. This is fun, but yeah, the Terror raid. Still very scary. Double damage rune on the Emissary as well. They want to find more. Light Chain's combo is available now, but just a second too late to really find somebody behind the tower. Decent retreat from bait there. They get the Aegis, they get the extra kill on on, uh, on the Slada. They get out. Oh, Ambrose. Quick, quick. Get these cool <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> there you go. I love that he's going Scardy on TB next as well. I was uh, a little bit worried about this SMI before, but uh, like we were saying before, he just needs to go stat heavy because he has the SD on his team. So like all his stats are so efficient. He has Van Brace, Triple Wraith Band, Dragon Lance, SMI. His illusions are really strong. And they don't have great ways of clearing illusions on the Dire side. So, yeah. Good luck at dealing with those. Dire are scanning. Never refuse gold. Gotcha. And we do have a 5k advantage for Team Empire, but this game still feels a little bit more even right, right now. A lot of that advantage is centered on the Starblade. Blade. If they, s if they somehow find ways to play around them, certainly around the meta, then. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bait still have a good shot. Like, they. Feels like in the last couple of fights, they've. Never really been able to be the one to initiate and get a quick pick. When this Ember gets Desso as well, though, like applying it onto everybody with a slight fist is going to be 
devastating oh, yeah. for um, Dire Side. Especially with the physical damage amp from the Corrosive Haze as well. I don't know. Oh, it's it's, it's going to get really scary. Yeah, if they get caught up in the middle of a team fight where they've got all this mines armor, we have Terrorbait standing Radiant in the middle, just clicking a few times with all these loons. They're not going to last long. It's very clear at this point. Is under attack. I would also say as well, I don't know if you just saw there, Ench can take over the TB illusions with Enchant. Yeah. But he's doing a really good job of not giving them to her. Okay. Like he's making sure his illusions are pushing out waves that she's not in. That's pretty smart. Small quotation with him on that shadow right attack. now, mate. I think they Yeah, they know that something's up here. Still on low ground, have some sentries at the ready. Dyer's top tower yeah, is under like attack. Now. They have their own high ground wall Radiant's up here. bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. Alright, not gonna get caught up by that. The shackle of the illusion, no! The defensive force now will still keep Agnon safe. Gotta take out Shadow Demon first. We can roll somebody else, but we still won't take oh this fight. The crush on everybody! Yeah. And now Lightless aims to click one to the next. Last year is down, Crystals. Trying to find a target here that this time over on the wheel tower wait now. Drop down, still has a Sunder, ready to go, has to use it on teammate. Sorry, it doesn't really mind, but Light is still so freaking low with all of this poison. If they can get the skill, maybe this is worth it. They lost Dandy though, an ultra kill for him with the illusion still cleaning out, and now the stun. The random arrow finds the uh, life stealer. Fishman uh, trying to help, but he's just dead. Full <laughs> fight man wipe. A sunlight is just dominating. Pull back! into the high oh. ground where his team all died and was like, guys, I'm here. I'm ready to help. Oh, where is everybody? Oh, boy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Chrysalis. With everything. Oh, no, Chrysalis. I keep saying Chrysalis because we play CDO. <laughs> Lightless. Jesus. With everything focused on him, he's still able to do 3k damage, get a kill after he's dead because of illusions. I thought all of that uh, Ember is able to do almost 5k damage. I will say that the fact they killed the TB there is big, because if they don't yeah. kill the TB, then they start losing rats, like, or at least losing damage on their tier 3, right? Or... The, the fact they kill the TB, they, they can't take structures or objectives without the TB. So even though they lose fights, yeah, they're falling further behind. It could have been worse. Yeah. But he's going to get Scardy soon, and I'm pretty sure he's going to get Butterfly afterwards. And then at that point, I think they're really going to struggle on Diet. Because the later and later this game goes, I said, what did I say when TB gets his third item, they were going to struggle? I said in the draft, which is, yep. is technically going to be Scardy. He could even go Hurricane Pike as well, which would be really good at helping kite around the Life Seeder and the Beastmaster. Yep. They just have to keep the TB farming on Empire, and they'll be fine. But we need eight passes in two games, right dude. It's... Jury's still out on this one, I still believe. We yeah, have some extra vision here with the spawn, which has been scouted out. Is under attack. Yeah, it looks like Empire knows what's, that something's up here, not seeing anyone on the map. Something I forgot to point out, by the way, Ember used Slight of Fist on, the, on all the people in the fight, and the, the Sala Cross of Haze, the Beastmaster, TB killed him in three hits. <laughs> yeah. With all the mind He was dead very fast, as uh, very win. fast as well. Then he got caught with the combo, and arrow to the face. Yeah. Yes, they're still hunting for more, look at this, it's all the way across the map right now, the arrow, arrow right on the back of the head. Life <laughs> Seeder as well. Oh, he's getting scardied up. It's a main scardy. It's a speed creep. Oh, out, crush, smash, smash. Oh. How many times have we seen this in Bait today, though, where one hero dies and it just. Like, they just die one after the other. Like, in a really small window. They're not even near each other, but. Let me like... just mark it on the map. This was the first kill on Bendy. Second kill was like Dyer's around here. Middle tower has fallen. The third kill was here. <laughs> and yeah. then the last kill was here. Throughout the length of the map, they got four kills. But it's because they have so much catch and reach with the Sladar and Ember. Like, the Sladar's so quick with the drums, the treads, like, and the sprint. Yeah. He has Blink on top. And now they can just go second Roche whenever it spawns as well. It's actually a really quick one. It's like 30 seconds. 
fifteen right now. Oh, he's gonna go BKB on the team. I okay. fortune. I actually don't like it, but like, like yeah. why why build BKB this game, right? I so guess can, it stops so the halberd from the life stealer. It's so he can farm the nickel creeps. Oh, <laughs> dude, you're so smart. Yeah, he wants that money. He doesn't want to have his team farm them all the time. Uh, so Diano rushes up because they have the Hawk Vision. But Radiant don't know yet. Invisibility. So with the Invis Rune. Have you seen the cast range on the, dis on the dis Shadow Demon spells, by the way? On like disruption and stuff? He has Aether Lens Keen Optic and a cast Radiant range talent. It's ridiculous. It's pretty decent, yeah. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Allies disappear. Right, Moonlight Shadow comes out. Do we have to Nekro Creeps? I do have some vision attack. on this high ground, so I try and break him to drop on him. But Roshan is starting right now. <laughs> the space only lies this inside the pit. The baits, they confirm that this is happening right now with the power shot. They have a solar crystal from the Murano as well. I was flying out. Golem was like, ah, you're just making me stronger. Well, not too old, Bolas. This beast master getting chipped away. It's something we haven't What's talked about, by the way. The reflection, him? the reflection from the TB onto the beast master oh gives God. them the attack speed aura. It's yeah, it's insane. He's dropping lower and lower. At some point, Bade has to take a chance here. So they give they up and cheese. That is, Chrysalis comes in. The shackle oh my catches no him, way. and <laughs> Chrysalis he got the ages of the ball. Shot on the back, trying to bring down Dendi, and he just falls apart instantly. Chrysalis has to do some, pull some weight here. Shot is dead. Fight immediately from Dendi is running down last hero, but yeah. they can't to Fishman, me. but they don't have power. They don't have the damage for Lightus. Not just. Uh, Crystals himself, so he does respawn, but he's all alone. Denley only now walking in. Hey, come and fest into me. About to get arrowed! Has to jump straight out to keep walking. Denley with the dieback. Godlike Spear and Sunlight is a little gold for next Fishman. Down for the count as they're just looking for more. I don't want to say targets, I want to say victims at this point. I wish you could have seen my webcam there. I, I caught one glimpse of my. Uh, yeah, I was, <laughs> you're like face palming like there was no tomorrow. It was, Arrow. Oh, tank by boar, so that's something. Last, Last hero just hero. Pulled back. Right. It's just no winning this if there's farm terrible aid like this. It's being able to go for Paladin target. Sword? target. Dyer's bottom Paladin sword for the team, don't worry. Oh, up. Up. I'm for curious. Did you, did you see what Dendi did in that fight, by the way? No, Dyer's neither did I, because he died. Was like, yeah, okay. yeah, literally <laughs> That's what nothing. you were talking about, okay. He has bought no armor oh, items no. against a Slardar and an Ember with a Desso. So he's just getting like four or five hit every single fight. He's just a range creep with a Viper Strike. I really, really dislike his item build this game. I, this bot's first is fine if you can like just move around the map and just push lanes out and things. But this TB is eventually going to win you the game. Like, you have to make the plays yourself with your lineup, right? You have Beastmaster, you have this lifestealer that can both come online early and fight. But then this game was going really well, and then he got ganked twice in the mid lane and just died back to back, right? All of a sudden, he has these bots, and he can't do anything in the game. He doesn't offer anything. Yeah. Um, and it was just really frustrating to see, because I think they had a window this game where they were really strong with the Beastmaster 3, but because the Viper item timings didn't match up with the Beastmaster item timings, they have no way to take these big five on fives. I think the Shadow Demon played really well this game. Sayu, oh, yeah. he would have gone 7 0 17, but he died once because he arrowed a Necro Creep. So, yeah. <laughs> that was the only reason he died himself. Yeah. He's just like, ah, I don't want to be the only one. I don't want to show up my team, you know. I'm try I'm gonna guys, I'm going to try to get two deaths in this game. Only got the one. But yeah, I, I mean, yes. after watching the first game of this series. It was like night and day with bait. This is like oh, back yeah. to the bait that we saw in the first series today. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is just swapped brains or something, because Empire also looked uh, certainly a lot more composed in the second game than it did in the first. As well. I mean, their draft is a much better this game. Like, there's no 10th pick that they have to deal with, yeah. like the AM from game one. This TB eventually just wins the game. I love his item build. I love all the items they built on the, the Radiant, actually. Yeah. I think they're all really good.
All right, well, there we go. As uh, back to cameras here for a second, as we are back, uh, as we're through half the day here, baited with the double header, two and zero loss in the first one. But hey, they at least got the they got one point on the board. Dude, uh, they've they're, got that. They're online. They're online, right? It was just a tactical tumble here in this follow up against the Empire, but. Uh, Still have a chance for sure. Do keep an eye on the rest of this tournament. Uh, again, we've been talking about it. Nine teams on this group stage. Only the ninth team gets eliminated straight away. Um, top four go to the upper bracket of the playoffs. The next four go to the lower brackets. There's still plenty of chances, as especially since there's five men who've not played as many games, but they've not put a point on the board yet either. So do keep an eye on things in uh, the next couple of days as well as today, because we have two more series on the schedule right now. NIP versus Khan coming up next, if Khan is appearing, because uh, I hear that they've tried to reschedule, which was unfortunately not possible. And we have not confirmation whether Khan will actually be able to play. So do keep that in mind. But we're definitely going to have uh, five men versus unique uh, on the docket as well. So do stay tuned. Mufawar, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a pleasure. It's actually been the first time we've casted together. Properly. We've known each other for so yeah. long as well. Yeah, we've worked the same events, we've hung out, you know, we've uh, got some stories on that, which we should not share publicly, all things considered. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it like that. But yeah, we've never actually cast it together. And um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that right here. And uh, yeah. It's been wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed it has been. Also, of course, huge shout out to Monster Energy, shitty wizard back there on the on the dock it is also improving and so do I so thank you very much uh, for sponsoring this one we're gonna take a break and I'll keep you up to date with the developments of the next series which should be in NIP versus Khan stay tuned <laughs> 